Hey guys, um, this is just an example of a friction on an incline question. Um, the question reads like this. Um, consider a 10.194 kg block resting on a plane inclined at 30 degrees. It is held in place by a force P, which is at an angle of inclination of 10 degrees to the horizontal or to this plane. If the coefficient of friction uh, for the system, the static friction coefficient, is 0 0.3, find the values of P that will just hold the block from sliding down the plane. So that will be the block just about to move uh, towards this direction here, the negative x direction, and to just hold the block before moving up the plane. All right. So uh, the first step in this uh, type of question is to draw the free body diagram. So the free body diagram will have a total of four forces acting on it. Uh, firstly, there is the weight force. Um, there is a 10.194 kg mass. Uh, there will be a weight force which acts um, in, the, in the vertical direction. So this is our weight force, uh, we'll call it W. Um, and if our mass is 10.194, it will be equal to the mass times our gravity coefficient. So this will be equal to 10.194 times um, 9.81. We'll get a reading of 100 newtons for this. We will also have our normal force. So this normal force uh, is present when we, even when we don't have friction and will act in a direction along the y direction in this case, which is um, normal or um, perpendicular to this horizontal, or well, to this plane. So we'll act up here. And this will be our normal force. Our fourth force which will happen here, so we're answering uh, question A first. Um, in this case we see that the block is just about to slide down the plane. So our impending motion is going down this direction here. If the block is about to move down the hill, then we will see a friction force to oppose that motion. So it will act up the hill. So this will have a value uh, F. Okay. So now this is our free body diagram. Um, we can see that the weight force can be broken up into two components. Um, there would be an angle of 30 degrees here. Um, if this angle here is 30 degrees, that means that this angle here is 60 degrees. That means that this angle here is 30 degrees. And then these two lines mean that this, these two angles will be the same uh, value. So the weight force can be broken up into two components, um, a portion along this direction here, which would be equal to W times uh, cosine 30, and this component here, which would be equal to W times sine 30. Uh, P can be broken up in a similar way, where the component along the x direction will be equal to p cosine 10 and the component in the y direction will be p sine 10. Okay. So our next step here is to do the conservation of forces in our system. So the, we know that the system is in equilibrium at that moment when it's just about to slide down the plane. So then this means that the summation of forces in the y direction is equal to zero. So now that the summation of forces in the y direction is equal to zero, we look at the forces and their components which are in the y direction. So in the y direction we have, um, we have a minus 100 cosine 30, it's in the negative y direction, so minus 100 cosine 30. Uh, P will have a positive component, um, this will be P sine 10. 
acting upwards and also a normal force acting upwards, so plus N. And those three forces, um, their Y components will be all equal to zero. The second equation is that the summation of forces in the X direction is equal to zero. So with that uh, we have the friction force acting up the incline in the positive X direction, uh, so that's F. Um, we have P cosine 10 acting up the X direction. And we also have this component of weight acting down the hill, which is um, minus W sine 30 because it's acting in the negative X direction. Okay, so that's two equations so far. Um, the third equation is to do with the maximum friction in our system. So in the question we're asked for uh, the force to just hold the block from sliding down the plane. So that means that in this case, the friction in our system is actually equal to the maximum friction. And there is a relationship between the maximum friction and the normal force, which is F max equal to mu times N. We see the friction acting up the hill in this case. So F max is equal to mu N. Uh, mu is equal to 0 0.3, so our third relationship is that F is equal to 0 0.3 times N. Alright, so we have three equations and three unknowns. Uh, the unknowns in our equations are P, N, and F. These are the unknowns. Uh, we have three equations, so we can call this equation 1, we can call this equation 2, and this one equation 3. And now it's just a matter of doing simultaneous equations. Alright, so the simultaneous equations, um, I can, you can have a go at doing this now. So I'll give you about 10 seconds to give that a go. Um, you can pause the video here if you like to try this. Okay, so what we'll do now is we'll try to solve this set of equations. Um, first step will be to put equation 3 into equation 1. So um, I'll just move this page up and we'll see that equation 3 can be put into equation 1. When we do that we will get um, minus 100 cosine 30 plus P sine 10 plus N, so that's always our original equation. Um, to put equation 3, so we can replace F with um, 0.3 N. Uh, didn't have to do that actually, so um, we end up with the same equation, um, or similar equation, so P sine 10 plus N equal to 100 cosine 30. Um, so actually we didn't need to do 3 into 1, we just rearranged equation number 1. Sorry, that was my mistake there. Uh, second, so we can put equation 3 into equation 2. So um, equation 3 into 2. So the original equation uh, 2 uh, had had this. So equation 3 into equation 2. Um, we have um, F which is equal to 0 0.3. Oh, let's just write this equation first. So F plus P cosine 10 minus W sine 30 equals uh, 0. We can substitute 0 0.3 N into this section here, knowing that it's F max. So 0 0.3 n plus p cos 10 minus w, uh, w is 100, minus 100 
sine 30 equal to 0. And then we can rearrange this um, equation again. So this will become P cosine 10 plus 0 0.3 N equal to 100 sine 30. Okay, so now we have two simultaneous equations um, and we can solve for this system of simultaneous equations. Um, you can use the elimination method or the substitution method. Um, in my case, I'm going to use my calculator to solve uh, for these uh, systems, knowing that this is the co first coefficient with P, um, the coefficient for N is 1, and this is the um, our constant. Uh, same with these two, so the coefficient with P, the coefficient with N, and our value that we'll have here. All right. So here's my calculator. Um, I'll just go to uh, menu and equation. My type is going to be a simultaneous equation, two unknowns, and then I can place uh, values into here. All right, so the first value for, I'll be here, sine 10, uh, one, 100 times cosine 30, cosine 10, 0 0.3, and 100 times sine 30. All right, so we'll solve this system, and we get as our solutions, um, P equal to 25.75 newtons, and we get our normal force, N, as equal to 82.13 uh, newtons. So we get them there. Alright, so that means the solution to part A of our question is that um, the force P required to just hold the block from sliding down the plane is P equal to 25.75 uh, newtons. So this one here. Awesome. Thank you guys. Uh, so I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.